Hello again, uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Gunoro and I'm going to carry on on this video with what happened at the Lib Dem conference in Swansea at which I spoke in the afternoon on education but I don't think we have a, a copy of the speech uh, available for this video. Now, I was a school inspector for 20 years and obviously two years have passed since then and I'm clearly out of touch with what might be going on in actual terms. But I can just hear in my ear the minister, the last two ministers in the Welsh Assembly actually, one saying our system of education is complacent and the other one said there are weaknesses in the system. And they were commenting on in that fashion because of the PISA results where we are compared, our standards are compared to about 60, 70 other countries in the world. And Wales is about 43rd, something of that kind, uh, way down the list. England and Scotland are better. They're in the 20s. I think Scotland is slightly better than, than uh, England. Uh, but even Northern Ireland is better than Wales. So, question, are there issues surrounding the standards of education in Wales? Well, yes, there are. And people can't avoid that fact. And we've been discussing it in public in Wales for years as to how to improve the standards. As I said, I have not been going round the schools of Wales now for two, three years. But it is obvious from reading Estyn reports that yes, there is slight improvement. Last year or so, there's been an improvement in secondary. But in primary, there's been a bit of a decline. For instance, whereas 7 out of 10 schools were either good or excellent uh, of those inspected, this last year or so is dropped to 6 out of 10, which means that 4 out of 10 primary schools are only adequate. And on top of that, I think something like 2 out of every school inspected required some sort of a follow-up. In other words, the inspectors will go back within a few months or six months or whatever to see whether there's been an improvement. And two areas of improvement that have been uh, mentioned, often in fact, and they were there when I was inspecting. One was num uh, numeracy and the other Welsh as a second language. Uh, it's good to note that literacy, the standards of literacy in Wales has improved. So, there are things to be done in the primary sector. Now, when we go to secondary, yes, there's been a slight improvement. Half the schools have been described as good or excellent. That's fine. What does that mean? The other half are not. The other half are probably adequate or whatever. Or whatever. But there certainly has been an improvement in secondary. And there's been an improvement in literacy, leadership, self-evaluation, uh, teaching and learning. There's been good uh, improvement in those areas. But in secondary, there are problems in terms of mathematics and again, the question of numeracy. So, areas for improvement in secondary as well. One final thing. It was a never-ending point of discussion at inspector meetings. The teachers make an assessment of where the pupils are uh, in their standards and those are provided for the, inspector, for the inspection team before going on the inspection where the school tells us this is where we think, this is how we think, what we think are the standards of our pupils. Invariably, and I mean almost every time, invariably, when we turned up at the school and observed during the week of the inspection in the classroom, the children at work, the quality of their handwriting, the quality of their homework, the quality of their books, the quality of how they performed in the class. Invariably, the standards that were assessed and explained to us in writing before the inspection by the teachers we found it was nowhere near that on an inspection. So teacher assessment, I accept it's a difficult thing from time to time, is a problem. 
And without accurate assessment, we mislead the pupils, we mislead the parents. And Estin's last report emphasises once again that teacher assessment is an issue for improvement and a matter for improvement in Wales. The sad thing is, it's been like that for 10 years and more. So there are clear areas for improvement. Improving the primary sector, when 4 out of 10 schools are only adequate. Improving numeracy, improving Welsh second language and improving teacher assessment. A lot of work to be done. And the Welsh Assembly, despite whatever else it's saying, is not fully addressing these things in its deliberations. But there we go. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like, uh, please press the like button. And equally, if you wish to subscribe, there's a subscribe button for you to press as well. But that's it for now.